Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing. I think it's just one item, but again, I'm not entirely sure what's in the box. So we're going to open it up and see what it is. I'm pretty sure it is the Play Arts Kai Tetsuya Nomura Batman's Catwoman. So just Catwoman, not Batman. I just said Batman because the last figure that came out that was Tetsuya Nomura was Batman. And I have problems. But let's open it up and see what it is. It's, the box is kind of an odd shape for being Catwoman, so I don't know if that's what it is or not. Maybe it is. It is. All right. It's like the exact shape of the package, so that's why I was like, eh, it doesn't seem like it would fit in there. But, looks like we didn't get too much damage on the package. There's the outside. Alright, let's open it up and see what we have. Well, let's first look at it from here. Not much to see this way. You can always check out your Play Arts figures like that, but eh, eh let's open them up and see. Three pieces of tape on this one. Last time we only had one piece of tape, so we're definitely getting our money's worth. Let's hope the packaging is actually glued together properly this time. That would be that would be a good thing. Yeah, we're good. We are good. All right, let's take a quick look at this. I will be reviewing it, so I'm not going to spend too much time again. But uh, we're going to see what we can see quickly if I can get it open. That's probably really loud for you guys. The mic's close to the package. We'll see. I might have to adjust this setup. I don't know. I don't know. Opening the packaging is often the hardest part about stuff. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys want to see first? Accessories or figure? Let's do accessories first. That'll be more fun. So the first one is maybe, maybe a whip-like piece. Yeah, so I guess this is just like the whip. Maybe it won't focus unless I do this, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. I guess it's just supposed to be your whip. So there's that. That's one piece. I'm going to have to look at these things actually in detail before the review. And then we have an extended whip, which has the uh, little spiky things. Come on. Spiky things on it, which is cool. Neither of these are actually bendy though. They're flexible, but not bendy, so that's going to limit the posability quite a bit. She also has a gun, which I guess is okay. That's interesting. We have some hands, just two whip holding hands. I'm not going to focus on all of these because that's what the review's for. Uh, another style pose hand and a uh, Maybe the gun hand, I'm not sure. And then some more style pose hands with the big claws on them. So that's pretty cool. And now let's look at the actual figure. She looks pretty good, first glance. Hopefully it'll focus and not focus on me. There it is. So she's pretty cool. She's not quite as light as it's showing up on camera just because the lights are hitting her really intensely right now. But she is fairly light colored, pretty grayish brown. I do like the look of the figure though. A lot of people said, oh, it doesn't look like Catwoman. Well, it looks like a variant of Catwoman from an alternate universe. So I think that's okay. I like the proportions and, and that kind of thing. It's pretty cool looking. I like the coloring, the visor looks pretty nice, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. We'll see if it's actually, if it'll actually hold up. It looks like her tail whip thing comes out back here, so hopefully it holds up under uh, closer review. So there it is, guys. Check out the review. It'll be coming up very soon. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.